Hello. In this video, we're staying with the ACC, Autodesk Construction Cloud, and we're going to have a look at reporting. So first we go to the project we need, and you'll find reports in just about every area of the ACC. Here we're going to go into Docs, select Reports, and this will be the area where the reports are listed. Before we create a report, let's check the settings. Really, we need to make sure the report settings are the correct language. In this case, they are for me. The next thing we need to do is either create a report or go from to the templates and create a template. Here we're going to create a report and in this case use one of the templates provided for us. In this case, we're going to use an issues detail. We can change the title, we're going to change that in a second. Then we're going to start to filter the actual report itself. In this case, we're going to use status and we'll select a value. And we're going to actually only ask for issues that are currently open. So I'm going to change the title here just to make it easier to find it in the listing. And I'll just add open to the issue detail. This will actually create a PDF file and we can sort this by whatever method we want. In this case, I'm going to actually sort it by due date. We can also change the sort order from descending or ascending. We can, if we wished, add more filters. I could actually add one here for assigned to. So it would be open file, open issues, assigned to whoever. In this case, I'll just keep the one filter and I'll run the report. Now, before we actually run the report, what is quite handy is we can actually turn this into a template. So rather than having to recreate this report again and again, we just use a template. So I run and save the report, and the report will then get listed in, the, in here. When our report is ready, we can then download this report and open it. As you can see, the report is laid out with hyperlinks to allow us to jump to certain areas and lists all the information, including the due date, which is how it's sorted. If I now close that report down and go to the templates, we'll find that this report is now listed as a template. Now this would be handy if we're going to run this on a regular basis to create a schedule for this report. By selecting schedule reports, we can choose between weekly or monthly, or indeed how many weeks or how many months between each report. We can then also choose on what day of the week or days of the week we want to run that report, and even the time that the report is going to be run. We can also specify the dates that the report is going to be run between. So here it's set to today and then forward so many months. So at eight o'clock on a Friday, once this report has been run, we might want it shared with a particular group of people. We can choose by username, job role, or actually company. We could even actually share this with people who don't have access to the Autodesk Construction Cloud just listing their email address in there. And it would be handy to actually type a message so they know exactly what's actually being shared with them. So this is reporting in the Autodesk Construction Cloud. 